Hear the words now of our Lord Jesus Christ. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the great commission given to the church. This great commission should be done in obedience to the great commandment, which is to love God. Today, we will baptize a brother in Christ, a brother who will be entering into the visible church today, Lucas, and who will be entering into the membership of this covenant community. Now, here also these words from Scripture to help us understand the meaning of baptism. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into His death? We were buried, therefore, with Him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. This tells us a little something about the meaning of baptism. Baptism is a sign of God's promises to His new covenant people. I want us to understand something. As Baptists especially, we very often like to emphasize that baptism is a public declaration of faith. That is true. That is one aspect of it. But do not forget that baptism, first and foremost, is a sacrament given by God. It is something that He has given to the church. It is something that through which... He is declaring promises to the one being baptized. Baptism is a sign of God's promises by grace alone to forgive our sins, to adopt us into the body of Christ, the church, to send the Holy Spirit daily to renew and cleanse us and to resurrect us to eternal life. What promises of God are being made visible through the sacrament of baptism? What is the water signifying? Well, as the water cleanses and purifies and refreshes and sustains, know that Jesus Christ is our living water. Through baptism, Christ also calls us to new obedience. He is calling upon the church and today calling upon Lucas to love and trust God completely, to forsake the evil of the world and to live a new and holy life. Yet, we must be reminded that when we fall into sin, we must not despair of God's mercy, nor continue in sin, for baptism is the sign of God's new covenant of grace with us. So, Lucas Badenhop, please come before us to make a public profession of your faith, and then to receive the sacrament of baptism. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> When I was addressed directly, I felt like I needed to go to the anxious bench now. Yes, <laughs> there you are. That's, 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 um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've been brought up in a Christian home. I've known of Christ for my whole life, yet I do not know for how long I've known Christ uh, personally. Um, and I feel very comfortable now to say that I am redeemed in a new covenant of grace that has been <laughs> all of my sins paid for Sabella's very cute song uh, all of my sins paid for by the blood of Christ um, this I believe on the basis of scripture and from God's revelation um, not of my own works but purely from the works of Christ yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen stay here Lucas with me now we will Together, uh, as a church, confess the faith. What is it that we as a church believe about baptism? Let's read this article from our confession together. Baptism is an ordinance of the New Testament ordained by Jesus Christ. To those baptized, it is a sign of their fellowship with Him in His death and resurrection, of their being grafted into Him, of remission of sins, and of submitting themselves to God through Jesus Christ to live and walk in newness of life. And we praise God that today we baptize Lucas first and foremost before God, before this local church, before guests as well who have, who have um, 
uh, been a part of Lucas's life, such as his friend Tim, and even family who are watching uh, from Darwin. Is that right? Yes. Yes. So. Wonderful. I'm being critical of my hairstyle at the moment. Oh, yes. Well, it's, you're about to get wet <laughs> anyway, so it's okay. Uh, so I'm going to ask Lucas a question, three questions actually, and then I'm going to ask the church a question. Lucas, have you repented of your sins and trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. Do you commit to follow Jesus as Lord and Savior for the rest of your days? Amen. And will you give yourself to this local church to live together in love and grow together in faith? Amen. Now, members of Christ Covenant Church, can you please rise to your feet? It is a simple question. Members of this church, do you affirm this brother's profession of faith? Amen. Amen. So, we will now make our way to the baptismal pool. I want to read a word of encouragement to you guys from our um, unorthodox catechism. Um, so, this is something for Lucas, but it's something for all of us as well to remember. Um, so we're surrounded by people who are themselves, many of you are baptized believers. So do not forget that baptism is a means of grace. When you see the sign of baptism, and you see that sign, and you understand what it means by faith, it becomes a source of, not only for Lucas, but even for you, of strengthening, of encouragement. It is a confirmation. The Spirit confirms to you the promises that God made to you at your conversion, at your baptism once upon a time. Your own baptism, however many years ago, can continue to be a means of grace to you today. Where does Christ promise us that He will certainly wash us with His blood and Spirit as we are washed with the water of baptism? Well, He promises us this in the institution of baptism itself because of what it signifies and what it means. What does it mean? I want to remind Lucas one last time. It is to receive of God forgiveness of sins freely. For the blood of Christ, which He shed for us in His sacrifice upon the cross, and also to be renewed by the Holy Spirit, and through His sanctifying of us, become members of Christ, that we may more and more die to sin, and live holy and without blame. That is the pledge that this signifies on Lucas's end as well. And as assuredly as this water touches your skin and washes the dirt from your body, know this by faith, that just as assuredly are your sins washed clean. Let us step inside us. Thank you. All right. So Lucas has made his profession of faith very clear. Would you like to sit first? Get the um, most difficult part over with? <laughs> bring your legs okay. forward. Right? Yeah, bring your legs forward or else uh, we will break your legs. It will be an inch. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> All right, brothers and sisters, we are the witnesses of this baptism. I now charge you, as we do this, to be these witnesses who will, God willing, for the rest of his days as a Christian... <laughs> help to hold him accountable mm, yes. and to bring his mind back to the promises of his baptism yes. and all that means and in the days of struggle remind him of these promises yes. so by the authority of God in the presence of many witnesses <clears throat> and on behalf of Christ Covenant Church Lucas Badenhoff be it Lucas Badenhoff we now <laughs> baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen <laughs> Amen <laughs> We're supposed to sing a hymn um, yeah, together. <laughs> Nothing but the blood. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow. That makes me white as snow, no other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Let's stop right there, and why not, while we're all here already anyway, 
let's end the service in this way outside in the cold so let me pray this blessing over you actually not even just pray but declare this blessing over you our benediction the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you the Lord lifts up his countenance upon you and give you peace church let's sing our doxology praise God from whom all blessings flow praise him all creatures here below praise him above ye heavenly